My name is Mark. I'm a registered Republican. I uh, have been so for decades. Uh, I am from Maine. In 2016, when uh, Trump was elected, um, I can say I did not vote for him. I cast a protest vote and voted third party. Um, I will absolutely not do that this year. Um, I am definitely voting for Biden, um, anybody but Trump. I was actually excited at the time about what uh, Trump might be able to do economically, although I felt he was an extremely ruthless and immoral person, which is why I didn't vote for him. Um, I, I did think that perhaps economically he'd make some good decisions. So I stayed open to what would happen. And um, in some of the moves that he made uh, in our economy, I agreed with. I owned a business uh, for years. Um, so I was a small business owner and, you know, some of the deregulation stuff and the other financial type type things. Um, you know, I, I was like, yeah, this is OK. But his morals. Oh, my word. I have watched it deteriorate. Um, he is an absolute a narcissist. And it's all about him winning. And he has zero empathy for people. Um, I cannot in any way, shape or form uh, support somebody that cannot have empathy for other human beings. Um, I am at a point where I am not sure that I will stay in the Republican Party. I will probably become unenrolled un unenrolled now. Um, but Joe Biden has got to be reelected in this election. We cannot well, waste our votes on a third party protest vote anymore like I did in 2016. So um, if you're if you're on the fence about that, please, please, let's get Biden in and then we can focus on maybe having two viable candidates in 2024. Um, that's my story. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm glad to see that there's others like myself that are, um, you know, taking a stand against Trump. 